Hello, hope you all are doing well. Now, this video is about transaction processing. Transaction is nothing but a unit of program execution that access and possibly updates various data items. In simple language, transaction is a simple program that consists of set of instructions, which is either going to access the data from database or it is going to update it. Let's consider an example where a bank employee wants to transfer 1500 rupees from account A to account B. Now, as it might look as if it is one simple operation from customer's point of view. However, it consists of several simple operations. Here we can divide this transaction T in two parts, T1 and T2, where T1 will be responsible for deducting the amount from account A, whereas T2 will be responsible for crediting the amount in account B. So first in T1, what we'll be doing is we'll fetch the current account balance of account A, then we'll deduct 1500 rupees and then we'll update the balance of account A. Now till here, what has been done is bank employee has deducted the amount from account A. And the next thing that is to be done is to credit the same amount in account B. Now, the whole transaction looks something like this. T1 and T2 together. This is a one whole transaction. Clearly, it is essential that all these operations occur or that in case of failure, none occurs. As it would be unacceptable if amount from account A is debited but not credited in account B. Now, transaction access data using two operations. One first is read x. Read operation is used to read the value of x from database and store it in a buffer in main memory. Write x. Write operation is used to write the values back to the database from the buffer. The important point to be noted here is the write operation does not necessarily result in the immediate update of the data on the disk. The write operation may be temporarily stored in memory and executed on the disk later. For now, we shall assume that the write operation updates the database image. Now, let's take an example to withdraw rupees 500 from account X through ATM, which consists of following operation: reading the current balance of X, deducting 500 rupees on from account X, and updating to the database. Let's Let's assume that the initial balance of account X is equal to 4000. The first operation reads X value from database and stores it in a buffer. The second operation will decrease the value of X by 500, so buffer will contain 3500. Let's say at the same time X gets 500 cash from the ATM. The third operation is going to update the buffer value into the database. So x final value will be equal to 3500. It might be possible that because of failure of hardware, software or power etc. The transaction may fail before finishing all the operations in a set. So in the above example, if the debit transaction fails after executing second operation where x got the money from ATM but then x account balance was not updated in the database. So it still remains to be 4000 rupees when it has to be 3500 rupees. Now, obviously, this will not be acceptable by the bank. To solve this problem, there are two important operations. First is commit. It is used to save the work done permanently. That is, when all the instructions of transaction are executed properly, changes will be updated to the database. Next is rollback. It is used to undo the work. That means if the transaction was not completed properly, all the work done up till now will be under. To summarize, we have learned transaction is a unit of program execution that access and possibly updates various data items. Transaction consists of collection of single logical unit of work. Operations in transaction are read, write, commit and rollback. So we'll stop over here. Now. Your feedback is very important, so please do write in the comment section which will help me to make further videos better. Thank you.